like the US government, me, my team, the people that work for me, my business partners, my friends, my family, like the US government, we do not negotiate with terrorists, man. We don't negotiate with terrorists. That's, just, that's something that the US government has been known for. If there's something going down, right, in another country, and the terrorists in another country are trying to negotiate with the US, the US will tell them to fuck you. They ain't negotiating with you. It's not worth going to war over and having many casualties of war over just one person. I'll give you a perfect example. A terrorist isn't just what you think. A lot of times when we hear the word terrorist, we think a terrorist is somebody that's a extremist. Um, you know, they ain't putting out fucking videos on Al Jazeera, talking crazy, and they got the hostage tied up and crying and shit. You know, they over there speaking a foreign language that we don't understand over here in the U.S. And they talking crazy. You know, you got to make a terrorist look like that. But no, we're talking about everyday terrorists. You got people in your life right now. Everybody does. You know people personally that are terrorists. These are people that make shit way harder than it has to be. You know that one person at your job that... You got a place of, of, of job, a place of employment that is honestly a pretty cool spot, man. Everybody in there cool. Alice from accounting is cool. You know, Brett, the one little rainbow dude, he cool as hell too. You know what I'm saying? Um, everybody cool, you know what I'm saying? But you got that one bitch in accounting or that one bitch in HR who takes her job way too serious. You know what I'm saying? She is always trying to micromanage. This bitch, her job is to do payroll, but she trying to manage you in your department and she ain't got no reason to be in your motherfucking department. That's a terrorist, man. A terrorist is your neighbor who hates their life and they go way out of their way to make you feel miserable like them. That's what a terrorist is. A terrorist, an everyday terrorist, is someone who is miserable in their life and they try to take it out on you. We don't negotiate with motherfuckers like that. And I'm going to tell you, when I was younger, I used to have a lot of time. I used to have a lot of time for terrorists. I used to, I always had to have the last word. You know, this is a young man. I'm talking about, you know, my 20s. You know, I always had to have the last word. All that stupid shit. But that's one thing you learn as you mature is having the last word don't mean shit. Like, really. If you're sitting here and understand, a lot of times when I would have arguments with people, it was with a terrorist. I'm sitting here having an argument with somebody who is just looking to get under my skin. Um, they're unhappy with who they are. They're unhappy with their, t their situation in their life. So they're looking to make me miserable. They're looking to cause terror in my life. You gotta leave motherfuckers like that behind. Now, a lot of times for y'all that are work that have nine to fives, you got terrorists in your life. You might be got a family member. Now, for me, I work for myself. If I got any terrorists around me, I just cut them off completely. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, <laughs> if a terrorist tries to join um, any of my businesses, I will fire your ass in a minute. But I know for a lot of y'all that had nine to fives, you know, you got terrorists that you got to deal with every day and they just can't help themselves. Man, if there's a way that you can sit down between you, them and someone in HR, man, that that would be the best bet, man, because, you know, it, it really sucks because every place of employment has it. You got that one motherfucker who take their job way too serious way too motherfucking serious man every place i've worked at i've had somebody like this they take their job way too motherfucking serious you know but in life in general we all have terrorists all of us we all have people who take 
who are miserable in their lives and they're looking to negotiate. They're looking to try to get something out of you. Um, a terrorist is a hater, man. We I had a whole video on haters I put out last week. A couple of videos ago. Tap in with it. Um, we don't negotiate with y'all. We don't. And if you a terrorist watching this shit, motherfucker, don't come in my comments. I'm going to tell you, I'm quick to block your ass. I'm quick. You feel me? You know, I expect it. Like, I'm expecting. I'm already knowing, man. The tagline of this channel is, you may hear some things that make you uncomfortable. You may hear some things that offend you. And I know that my brand of speaking is very traditional, old school, um, black and white. I'm not with this new generation of PC bullshit. I'm going to kiss your ass and I'm going to kiss your ass and I'm going to give you a participation trophy just because you exist. I don't do, I don't believe in none of that shit. I believe in champion those who work hard. I don't believe that everybody is special. None of that shit. So end of the day, I know that as this brand grows, I'm going to get more and more terrorists coming to tap in and see what the fuck I got doing. You get what I'm saying? But we don't negotiate with you terrorist motherfuckers, man. And the best way how to deal with them is just cut them out your life. You know, like I said, if it's somebody at your job, man, you might have to get you, them, and somebody in HR to sit down and y'all try to figure this shit out. But for a nigga like me who I basically control my destiny, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I own my own businesses, but at the end of the day, you know, a terrorist to me could be a bad client. You gotta, you gotta, even as a business owner, I've done this too. Don't ever do anything for the check. Now, what I mean by that, if you find somebody, a client, and you can sense they're going to be a, a, a fucking irritant, don't even do it for the bag. Because I'm going to tell you, if you charge somebody $3,000 and you can sense this person is going to be an irritant, they're going to give you $4,500 worth of fucking stress. You know what I mean? So for me, what I've learned to do is I won't even do business with you if I can sense you're going to be an irritant. You dig what I'm saying? I won't. We can't do no business. Um, you can't buy no vending machines, no ATM machines from me. Um, you can't hold, you can't buy a house from me. You feel me? I don't want you in circuit 84. I don't want you buying none of my books. I don't want you buying me none of my courses. I don't want you consuming none of my content. I don't want nobody like that around. So never just do something for the check. So if you're a business owner, look, man, all money ain't good money. Sometimes you got to turn dollars down. You feel me? And sometimes a motherfucker will just, um, sometimes a terrorist will consume your content or buy shit from you just to complain about it later. You know, so yeah, we don't negotiate with terrorists.